Hello guys and welcome back again to the channel. Hope y'all are doing well. On today's video is a look at this new version of Ozone. This is Ozone 11. As you all know, there's three versions usually, which is the element, the standard and the advanced version. And uh, for this video, I've actually only put up the element and the standard because, you know, the advanced, you obviously have a bit more to what you have on standard which is very close anyway but the difference between standard to element is quite you know huge that's why i thought let me just review this too and just as usual the standard you've got option to load up all this and according to their website they've actually added two modules which you would normally not get on the standard version on the previous uh ones something like the master rebalance this always used to be on the advanced version but now you have it on the standard and also the stabilizer. So here, stabilizer. They might have obviously a few other bits and bobs, but at least they've now upped the standard a bit more that you can actually do slightly more than you would do on version 10. And the element is still like previous version, which I'm not really you know keen on in the sense that it doesn't give you any module at all. Because on version 9, you actually have the EQ and the compressor and the imager which you can obviously use, but from the 10, they actually locked it, which you only now use just the, you know, master assistant, that's it. But we will see how it actually compares to this. And then you can obviously let me know what you think, if it's what, you know, going for. So what I'll be doing on this particular, you know, video will be to use the master assistant on the Ozone 11, you know, see what it gave us and then also do the same with the element version. And then we can have a listen to, you know, both version and then see, you know, what they've done differently in the sense of, you know, the kind of sound they, you know, what it sounds like basically, because with this one, you can't see individual uh, modules. So you wouldn't know what exactly is done, but let's get into it. So I'll first start with the main one, which is the standard. So let me bypass the element version and then play the sound because they obviously, you know, advise to play from the louder part, but I will actually play here, which is the build up to the louder section. So hopefully with this bars will be enough to give us, you know, a target. Let's have a listen to the audio without. Obviously the level will be low, but then we will engage this. So let me go ahead and, you know, hit this and then play our audio. I've had to turn it off, obviously, because you'll notice a jump in level. So let's now do, because here you can actually, you know, set the level to match. Let's do that first before I then go into each module and see what they have done. Obviously, if you listen to this with the level matched when it's on and off, you notice that, you know, without the ozone sounded cleaner, maybe because this is obviously trying to get us a big level. That's why. So let's go in now and watch what each module is doing. So first the EQ, you can see the EQ curve that it has put, which actually pushes those low end a bit, you know, by 1.2 dB. So that's probably why that low end is now very heavy and now struggling a bit. So let's also look at the imager. I was quite happy with, you know, how wide they made the mix, to be fair. Then this is the stabilizer. Let's play it. Breathe. You think you're kind of no, 
you to give it up so easy, babe But you wanted my attention Yeah, you wanted my affection You got me tattooed on your mind so as you can see on the gain is actually cranking in 20 db of gain which i think probably why you know but let me just look okay that's minus 9.5 loves which is very loud <laughs> so let's put this down you know maybe minus 11 should be okay so let's have a listen here So around this, you know, plus 15 dB is just about okay for me. Now let's go ahead and try the same thing with the, you know, element version and then we can compare both. So this is the element version. Let's go ahead and play the song and then engage that. So if you listen again, you notice that this element version actually, you know, did a good job, even though I'm not quite happy with the fact that you cannot see the modules, but it did a good job to be fair. Let's now try to bring this level a bit down. Then I'll show you guys what I mean by, you know, seeing the level is better. But you wanted my attention. Yeah, you wanted my affection. So I'm not quite sure what, you know, Maximizer version they're using, especially the fact that you don't see it. But the low end sounded, you know, better to me when I listened to it here with what it gave me. So let's compare it now. This is the standard version. So now because we've actually, you know, turned down the level, you know, the gain level on the standard, now it sounds a lot better, a lot more open. But the original one that we got when this was on, you know, 20 dB gain and obviously a few other buttons were engaged here, it sounded like the low end was, you know, struggling. But when we pull it down, because I had to reset it and, you know, just add 15 dB, then it sounded a lot more better. But what we got with ozone element out of the pack was, you know, a bit better in terms of, you know, how it handled the low end. But it seems like you also narrowed down the, the, the stereo image. So let's have a listen again. Let me try to see full level match. So now this is one of the disadvantage with the element, the fact that you can see we've just scaled it down. I think it's probably about, you know, minus 5 dB that you can bring it down or 4, I think. So from here now, we can't actually turn it any further low in terms of the loudness. So this is where you could turn it low up to. The same with cranking it up. So for instance, if what it gave you is not loud enough, you can't actually increase it more. Or if it's too loud, this is the amount you can lower it. You can't go any further. 
with the same with EQ, you can only just, you know, pull this up or down. But when I tried it, not much really happening. You know, let's just try it now. And for the fact that you can actually see the EQ, you don't know what is happening. So the only thing I quite find, you know, great with this is the fact that it gave you this stabilizer as well on the element version, which is quite good even though you cannot, you know, tweak it. Another one that I really liked was this vocal level. Now it's not engaged because it checks your sound and then let you know if the vocal is too low or too high, and then you'll try to adjust. When I tried it originally by turning the vocal a bit down, it actually engaged this and I was able to, with this, pull the vocal to the level that I want. So that is something good on the element. But in general, I will really try to avoid element, especially if you are someone that know a bit of what they are doing and you want to take your song to the next level. So always strive to get the standard, you know, if you can afford the advance, because I think the way they are going with the element version is really, you know, going downhill. Whereas, as you can see with the standard version, they actually open it by even adding things that you normally get on the advanced version. So, which is sort of encouraging you to go standard. So, I will say if you can afford standard, obviously go for it. But if you cannot afford standard and it's the only element that you can afford, well, for the price, especially when it's on full price, I will definitely go for something else. But if it's on sale, you know, usually when it comes on, say, 50 bucks or 29 bucks, then sure, it's worth having, if not for nothing, but for this stabilizer here and for the vocal volume, you know, this vocal balance. So at least it helps you, you know, it will guide you to see when your vocal is, you know, on good level. Because when you run it, if this is not engaged, means your vocal is on good level. So you can even use it more of a tool to actually check your mixes you know, so if you engage it, if this comes on and at least you see if your vocal is, if it pulls it down, means your vocal is obviously too high. You can even go back to your mix and pull it down and try again, you know, more of like a tool to actually check your mix. So I hope this is helpful, guys. As you can see how you can quickly master your sound with these, you know, tools, which is the ozone element or the ozone standard. So don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below what you think about it and if you've not done so yet please subscribe to the channel because you know it does help the channel and also hit that super thanks and super sticker because you know that helps the channel as well until next time thanks for watching and bye now